There's a lot to do in Monster Hunter World. I've not been able to put this game down. It sunk its claws deep in me. But if you're playing regularly, you might be in high rank by now and curious as to what the future looks like. So we will be getting free DLC in the form of hunts and new monsters, totally free throughout the course of the spring and maybe the summer. The very first of those DLC bosses is the Devil Show, a classic icon from I think Monster Hunter 3 was the first time he showed up. The devs haven't really given a firm release date on this. However, he will come with some new gear once you take him down and the fight is supposed to be really stinking challenging from what the devs have talked about thus far. Previously, throughout the press cycle last year, the Monster Hunter World devs assured us that you're going to see the same amount of stuff to do in Monster Hunter World as you did in their handheld games. In the past, Capcom have made sure there is character crossover and event promotion. We have the Mega Man crossover that's coming fairly soon, as well as the Street Fighter crossover. So expect plenty of those tie-ins where different gear sets and limited time events will lead you to get maybe some armor for your Palico that completely changes his appearance. Like the Mega Man thing, let's like a chiptune play while you're playing. Beyond that, we don't really know what the future DLC structure for Monster Hunter World looks like. Since we're getting Devil Show, I think it's safe to assume over the spring and summer we're going to be getting more monsters and more quests. However, there is a big gap here that hasn't been talked about, and that is G-Rank. If you're new to the series, G-Rank is a level of difficulty above High Rank. Currently in the game, there is Low Rank and High Rank, but in the previous handheld games, you had G-Rank, which tended to be added in the Ultimate Editions of the game. So like you have Monster Hunter 4 that initially released on the 3DS, or now the Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate Edition. G-Rank completely changes the economy because that is a new step of higher grade armor to chase after. And that's, I think, the main reason we don't see G-Rank in the start of Monster Hunter World right now. Everybody is still chasing the high rank armor sets and some of those sets take a long time to get. However, I wouldn't be surprised if you see Capcom do some sort of G-Rank or Ultimate Edition for Monster Hunter World either later this year or maybe early next year. They're focused right now on the PC release, which initially I wasn't that interested in picking up, but after how much I've enjoyed it so far, I may pick it up. Seeing this game run at a steady 60 FPS and like 1440p sounds pretty cool. One of the last things I want to highlight here is the fact that Monster Hunter World's devs have been really outspoken against loot boxes. It, it's pretty encouraging to hear this, to be honest with you. So here's Ryozo Sujimoto, a producer for Monster Hunter World, who says that adding loot boxes to the game wouldn't make sense. And I quote, even when you get to a certain wall and you're like, okay, I'm 10 hours in, I suddenly have a monster I can't beat. It's not about, well, I'll just throw a bit of money in and I'll get better gear to do it. What we want you to do is go back to your house and be like, well, I've been using a great sword. Maybe I need to use the dual blades for this monster. We want you to go in and through gameplay, find out what's causing you to hit this hurdle and figure it out. Whenever you get over that hurdle by yourself, it's such a great feeling. Why would we let you skip that just to make a bit of extra money? It doesn't make any sense. There's no way we would interrupt that flow. The idea is that there's a harmony in the four players going out and you're going to get on well together. If you feel someone hasn't earned what they've got or they've got a better weapon just because they've paid for it and you worked for yours, that creates friction. Well, tell me that's not a breath of fresh air in this era of gaming, right? Such a positive stance on loot boxes. They will not be coming to the game in that particular form. Overall, I'm pretty much blown away so far with Monster Hunter World, and I'd love to know what you guys think of it. Especially if we're going to be getting free DLC down the road, this kind of support is really not heard of anymore, it seems like. Capcom could have shoved this thing full of loot boxes. It has the potential to totally be exploitative, yet the developers have stated pretty clearly, no, we don't want to create that friction and we don't want to interrupt this, this gameplay loop. We want to deliver what players come to expect a big meaty experience. So I'm really curious to hear what you guys are thinking about Monster Hunter after a couple of weeks. Leave a comment down in the comment section below with your thoughts. Also, if you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button. You'll find regularly more Monster Hunter, Destiny, Warframe, and just fun, positive gaming content here. Thanks for watching, have a fantastic day, and I'll talk with you guys next time.